And in color. In living color. Hey, man, listen. I'm so excited about the month of September. I Me don't too. know why, but it's a feeling in the air. We are in the final four of the Jubilee, and you see the title, Can Your Relationship Stand the Fire? Listen, September's going to be a September to remember. Everybody needs to type that in the comments. This will be a September to remember, and it's four reasons. Uh, let's get right into it. Y'all ready? It's the final four. There's four reasons. Four is the biblical number of creativity. So let's get to it. Number one, it's the ninth month of the calendar year. Nine is the biblical number of fruitfulness, productivity, progress, and birthing. Fruitfulness, which means, let's go here. Matter of fact, we can spend the whole time right through here. Fruitfulness. For God to make you fruitful, the Bible says that God prunes you. So this month of September, God says, I'm going to begin to cut some things off of you and cut some people, some nouns, people, places, things, and ideas. I got to begin to prune because for you to be fruitful, I got to cut what's dead. Woo! So, so, so don't be mad about who can't survive the cut. Mm. Oh, I got to cut what's dead. And don't be mad about who can't survive the, the cut. cut. No, listen, listen, if you can't survive the cut, that means you couldn't play for the team on the other side. It's nothing personal. It's just I, what we do is we win over here. Drop that in the comments. We win over here. So if we're winning, then that means God has to cut anything that's going to contribute to you losing. That's number one. Number two, the month of September, while it is the ninth month of the calendar year, it's actually named from the Greco-Roman culture, named the word septum. It means seven. So every time we say September, we're actually saying the number seven, which means seven is the biblical number of Shalom. Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking, all is well. So every time we say September, we're saying put a period on it. Nothing missing, mm. nothing lacking, nothing broken, all is well. So this is going to be your month of Shalom, which means anything that's not Shalom, you got to say see you later to. Anything, so for some of you, here's the deal, because we're talking about relationships. And sometimes we can want something to be what it will never, ever have the possibility to be. Yeah, 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 so yeah. God says, it's, it's all shalom all this month. It's all shalom, all this all month. month. All this it's month. Shalom. You hear me, soldiers? All this month. All this month. Put it, in, put it in the chat right now. Let's go crazy. Put it in the comments. Number three. Wow, it is the ninth month of the calendar year. This is actually the last month in the biblical year. See, the Bible operates off of the Hebrew calendar. And at the end of September, we actually shift over into a new biblical year. God gives us a three-month head start. While everybody else is waiting on December 31st, we're going to be there in the September. So our supernatural, we're getting a head start on what's ahead and what's next. So this it. is the month God says, I'm turning the page. I'm completing some things. Um, I'm putting some periods. A new chapter is beginning. So the reality is, what am I producing? I'm producing my next chapter. What am I being fruitful in? I'm being fruitful in my next chapter, which means for many people, let's go prophetic. This is going to be the month where you're going to meet who's going to come with you into your future. Oh, Bishop, you're 
killing me. Oh. Yeah, you're going to meet who's going to come into your future. This month, God says, I, I literally, it's the ending of a spiritual year and the beginning of a new spiritual year. And so I'm, it's a new chapter that's beginning. So here's, here's the revelation. Be okay with meeting some new people. Be okay with your circle changing. Be okay with having to uh, interact with some people that are that were not with you uh, through the month of August. Be okay yeah, with yeah, new yeah, people because yeah. your blessings are about to come from somebody you haven't met yet. Some of y'all like, what is he doing? When I preach and I had a mic, I be they, they, they call it mic stabbing. Somebody, what are some of my people? Look, 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 I, I, I almost think sometimes you're gonna throw that thing. <laughs> I have once and I hit a girl in the head. This was years ago though. It was years ago. It was years ago. Look, I'd be like with the mic. It was like, so there you go. And there's one more thing which has to do with this title. Let's go. Month of fire. When the Greco-Roman culture, Greeks were conquered by the Romans, and they created the names for these months that we have. The month of September was named for the false theater, the false god of the Greco-Roman culture, Vulcan, where we get our word volcano, which means the fire god. So this is the month of fire. And here's what fire is. Fire is not a negative thing. In fact, Deuteronomy, God says he's a consuming fire. Luke 12, Jesus says he came to the earth to ignite a fire, which means fire is spiritual. And if it's spiritual, that means it has benefits for us. Fire is spiritual, so it's not bound by natural law, which means it's not geographically bound. It's not bound by time. So how does God use fire? First Corinthians, here it is to the title. God uses fire to test and reveal. So here's the deal. If your relationship can't handle the fire, you don't have a relationship. If your relationship can't handle the fire, you don't have one. Have a you don't have one. You don't have one. And, and here's what I think is so crazy. Whenever relationships go to the fire, people often think, oh, it's the devil. It's God, because God's fire. It's never the devil. It's always God because God is fire. Oh man, you killing me. You're so when killing every relationship me, goes through the fire, it's God. God is saying, let me show you what you really have. That's good. Because what you think you have, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe you think it ready. Sometimes you and I didn't become close until you were in a fire. What did he do? He said, I'm gonna show you that do you have access and reach to somebody that I'm going to bring y'all together and I'm going to use the fire to be like welding to weld y'all together and connect y'all together. Ooh. See, for some, what you, you have less than what you think you have. For others, you have more than what you know you have. Oh, that's so good. Ah, oh. That's so good to me. So he uses the fire to say, look, You've been talking about you need support. It's been within your reach the whole time. You've been saying you need this. It's been within your reach. So let me use the fire to show you what you really have. And that's not always bad. Sometimes you didn't know that you had a brother until you go through a fire. You didn't know that you had somebody that would be in your corner until you go through the fire. You didn't know that you had somebody that gets you until you go through the fire. So for everybody, expect the fire to show you what you really have in all your relationships this month. And be okay with whatever it is. Work, Bishop. You know, here's the last piece, and I'm done. This is gonna be the quickest, but this is gonna be the quickest uh, motivation. Motivation, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be the quickest, whatever. Listen, you've been helping me with these ten to fifteen minutes, so here we go. Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, their friends in Daniel chapter three. Daniel's their friend. Now I could go deep because Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they're thrown into the fire. And King Nebuchadnezzar says, if every time the music plays, you have to fall down and worship me. And if you don't, we're going to throw you into the fire. Well, they don't fall down. They don't worship him. They said, King, our God is able to deliver us from your burning, fiery furnace. You picked the wrong punishment. See, a fiery furnace, if God is fire, then all you're doing by putting me into a fiery furnace is taking me to God. Well, what other punishment should he put? Maybe they should have thrown him into the water. Well, God is spirit, and spirit is represented by water, which means even if you try to drown me, he's water. He'll lift me up. Come on, Peter, walk on it. Maybe we should have thrown him into the lion's den. Well, that won't work either, because he's the lion of the tribe of Judah. Ow! Which means there's nothing Ow! you can do to me that does not work for me. Yeah. All right? So 
he says, we're going to throw you to the fiery furnace. They light it up seven times. What what does septa mean? What does septa mean? Seven. They light it up seven times hotter than normal. And the Bible says that the men who throw them into the fire, they're burned up. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Bendigo, they're thrown into the fire. They literally tie them up. And Nebuchadnezzar is watching because he's expecting to see their downfall. And I need to tell somebody, there are people, don't block nobody because they're watching. They're watching to see your downfall. They're watching to see you say, I give up. And guess what? We're about to disappoint them this month. Mm. Ah. We're about to disappoint them because Nebuchadnezzar is watching like, yep, they're about to die. Instead, the fire gets, gets them free. They get up. They're walking around. And Nebuchadnezzar says, who is this fourth dude in the fire? Did we put three in there? Who's the fourth one? Which means the fire made God reveal himself. Some of you are like, God, where are you at? God says, I'm going to put you in a fire and then I'm going to show you where I'm at. He gets up. They're walking around the fire. These are friends. Because, see, the fire revealed who they really were. See, we know them as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But that's not their Hebrew names. That was their Babylonian names. They were Labels were put on them by the Babylonians so that they forgot who they really were. You want to know what their names were? Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael. One means grace. One means favor. Another means provision. Here's the last one, helped by God. One means grace. One means favored and helped by God. And one means provision. So what you actually did when you put me in the fire is you made me find my grace, locate my provision, discover that I'm favored, and show me that I'm helped by God. Word, Bishop! They're all three friends, y'all, which means you don't just need people who can go into the fire with you. You need people that can go through it and then come out with you. I'm, so I'm, this, I'm, done. I'm done with you, Bishop. Listen, listen, I'm listen, done with you tonight. listen, listen, listen. You need people who can go through it with you, but then come out on the other side. Woo. So be okay with who dies in it and can't come out on the other side. But then celebrate who comes out with you on the other side, because that, those people are going into your future. Ah! And I'm done. 12 minutes in and I'm done. Drop the mic, Bishop. Y'all better light that chat up with fire flames. I want to <laughs> see the fire flames going crazy right now in the chat. Look, Bishop, let's bless our soldiers, man. Give them a prayer, man, that'll light them on fire all this month. Let's God, go. lock this in us. This is the month of fire. Lock it in us, God. Don't let us lose it. Over these 30 days of this month, it was Daniel 3 and 30, verse 30. The Bible says when they came out of the fire, they got promoted. Promotion means to go up. Everything about our lives is going up, especially our relationships this month. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Listen, yes, sir. it's going up. It's going up. I like that scripture you gave. 30. 30. That's it. Is that That's the seed? That's the seed. 30 is the seed. A dollar for each day this month, because every month you're going up. That's the seed. Guys, I don't care if you've never sown a seed. Sow this one. I don't, I don't even believe in all of that. It doesn't matter. It believes in you. You don't have to believe in gravity. I live I live in a tower. Walk out this balcony. You're going to fall. Gravity going to show you that it believes in you, whether or not you believe in it or not. I want to encourage everybody. Get that seed into the ground 30, and you're going to call this my September seed because this will be a September to remember. There was so much revelation released in the last 13 minutes. You have to go back and watch it again. Man, it was. It was, it was crazy. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. Listen, y'all, right after this, I'm going to have the Soul Ties Detox Tour schedule for the month of September. Wow. I want, if you're anywhere in the areas, I want you to be there. We're going to be this. Let me see. This Thursday, Winfield, Alabama. This Friday, Corinth, Mississippi. This Sunday, mm. Clarksville, Tennessee. Wow. Then we're going to be this month, Paducah, Kentucky, Boston, Massachusetts on the 14th, and so on and so on. You'll see it. But listen, listen, all of my soldiers, even if you watch it on the replay, don't miss this moment. You heard Bishop. He was on fire tonight. It's a September fire, baby. And listen, you need to be a part of that. 30 is the seed. Every day this month, we going up in flames. I am the love and light coach. That's and who it that is. will still be the still people be. mission. All day, every day. Kevin Foreman, baby. You know Both how times on Sunday. We <laughs> 
We set it off like this, baby. Every first Monday on Motivation Monday, y'all know we here each and every week, 8 p.m. Central Time. That is Mecca time. Share this. 30, share this with three people. There you go. Three people, and let those three people share it with three people. Y- y'all, we going to work this. This message is one for the book. Yeah, it God is. is going to do more in the final four months than you have done for yourself in the past four years. Yep. But leave that. And yeah. we will see you next week. Let's same go. Same bad time, same bad channel, right here on the official show for the Soul Times Movement, Motivation Monday. Let's go.